stampers this is Sarah with stinkingcutecards.com and I just wanted to pop in with a quick little tutorial for a card that we did for my I feel pretty class this week um, it's done with this climbing orchid and I thought it turned out awesome I really liked how um, how cute it was now with this climbing orchid stamp set um actually first let's let me just back up here I'm going to show you how to do the background on this just because it is really it's way easier than it looks and quite fun so what I did was um, the class included a jar of the shimmery um, shimmery white embossing paste and um, the, the attendees used that at class this week so it was really kind of fun I really like um, this stuff so what I'm doing here is I'm just using the silicone mat because it is helps protect my stamping surface um, I also am using the brick wall um, the brick wall stencil and um, mine has gotten a little grungy um, just simply because in class it's very important to wash it immediately just because the stuff dries so quick and um, so unfortunately mine has gotten a little grungy here but I did find do a little research and I've um, someone had mentioned trying the essential um, a cleaner made with lemon oil so I'm gonna give that a try I'll give you um, give you an update as soon as I find that so okay so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to run my stencil across I, or my palette knife across my stencil and I'm gonna do it kind of a swoop I don't want to do the whole thing solid just I, I think it looks fun kind of unplanned with this card so um, any extra I'm just gonna put right back in the jar and make sure I close the lid of that right away. I'm just going to grab a wet, wet wipe immediately here and it's important like I said to clean up your stencil or palette knives right away and I'm going to peel the stencil off you see it's got a nice little swoop so I'm going to set that aside and let that dry <clears throat> and again I'm just going to clean that up real quick with the, the wet wipe. Another tip is to have a pan of wet water just here at the um, at your desk and then you can clean that up real quickly but I'll keep you posted as to whether or not that that lemon oil works so okay so let's go ahead and finish up this fun little card now um, this is what my card is gonna look like and as soon as my as soon as my my brick wall is dry we're gonna go ahead and start assembling it now with this card I thought this was adorable I love this climbing orchid and I got it because I thought it would be fun we saw some really cool orchids when we were in um, Thailand this last year so I thought oh it'd be great for making scrapbook pages and things like that except for when I actually got the stamp set and the dies the coordinating dies with it I thought ugh. I couldn't imagine using it in a in a class here at the house I was kind of thinking yeah if we do a card like this um, thinking yeah probably should put on a pot of soup might need to have some you know therapist there waiting because many of them are gonna need to be talked off the ledge I just thought it was a little and, and my customers are great stampers it's just that this was really putsy and I didn't think that um, we'd all have the staying power to go ahead and um, finish a cute little card like that but Needless to say, I received my Stamparatus a couple weeks ago, and it has made something like this super, super easy. So let us let me show you how fast that this card goes together when you have your Stamparatus. And you can, if you have not gotten on that first registration, um, you can order your Stamparatus starting in June, and I would highly recommend it. Um, it is really fun to work with. I went ahead and we're gonna use that amazing um, one of the, the die that's the celebration die you know which ones I'm talking about right um, I just went ahead and cut that right out of the center because that's gonna be covered anyways and nobody is gonna see that nope, it's still a little wet so let's go ahead and do our actual stamping first I have berry burst and pink pirouette and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stamp the enjoy today so I got a couple of downline top 10 cards to send out and I thought this would be a fun one to get out in the mail and because we have washi let's go ahead and stick some washi on there stop hoarding your washi people use it it's fun it adds a little pizzazz and everybody's life needs a little pizzazz so let's go ahead and I'm going to layer that on the berry burst 
fun color, by the way. And that's gonna go on the inside of our card. I have pre-cut a tree branch here from the Colorful Seasons. And what I did with mine is I just cut off. I think most of those orchids, they all come off like a single stalk. So I just went ahead and got rid of a few of my <laughs> branches here. And I'm just gonna use the green glue to attach that to my card front. Yeah, see, it's, it is pretty dry. Isn't that amazing how quickly that stuff dries? And I'm gonna add mine kind of kitty wonkus here, just because I thought it would look kind of fun. And I should have probably done the inside kitty wonkus too because it's all about matchy matchy. But, okay, so here's what I did. This one, this card has seven different pieces. One, two, three, four, five. My center fell off, that's five six, seven. So seven different pieces in this, in this card itself. And so I was kind of thinking, like I told you that my customers would probably have been a little rolled up in the corner in a fetal position when they, if they would have had to do this in a class. So what I've done with my Stamparatus, I went ahead and used all of the framelits. And, um, so what I did is I went ahead and, um, put all my framelits and on a single piece of paper. I had all seven of them lined up here. And I did two at a time because with a there's nothing real intricate or detailed with this. When I run this through the big shot, I can usually get two um, pieces without a whole lot of distortion. So I did so I was able to, I think I, I cut for 12. I think I had 12 class attendees yesterday. So I was able to cut for 12 cards in no time at all. It just did six runs through the big shot. So then what I had was individual pieces that I put in the little cardstock packets. And I went ahead and put all of my framelits, or all my stamps, right on my Stamparatus. Now, um, I can give you a link here for the Stamparatus video so you can kind of see how this baby works. Um, I Again, what I did was I went ahead and put all of my stamped images on one side, or the second side. This is a different color. So what I did was I went ahead and I went, I stamped them like this. Then what I did is I take, took this, went and cut it out with the Big Shot using those same framelits on my, on my stencil here. Ooh, look at that. These babies are very, very, very careful. You don't get them together. And um, then what I was able to do is it's just like putting a puzzle piece together. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of our pieces in our stencil. I know, isn't this so stinking fun? And it makes it so much easier. I don't mind doing fussy cards like this. I just felt so bad for my my stampers when they were here. I thought, oh, they're not gonna want it. They're not gonna like me, and they're not gonna want to come back. So I'm gonna use the berry burst, and we are going to ink up this top one. So I've got all of those inked. And then I'm just gonna take a quick little walk on the wild side here and make sure that all of my stamps are inked. Now, of course, if they aren't, because it's the Stamparatus, you can quickly go back and re-ink them. So look at that. Oops, see, that one's, not, that one's not inked. Look at that, I can redo it. It looks like it's a little off here too, but I had, this was after my class yesterday, so. Let's just take these other ones out because we don't need it. And as long as your stencil stays in place, you will have no problem. Look at that, isn't that stinking cute? Oh my goodness, it just worked so well. I love it. And then I'm just gonna do these in the pear, or the fresh fig shut them as well and look at that those also are perfectly lined up isn't that amazing I know get out and shut the door or shut the stamparatus one of the two so I love my stamparatus you will too um, 
make sure that you send me a quick little email and I can make sure that I send you a reminder email once the Stamparatus goes live again or if there's any other additional updates. Make sure that you sign up um, on my website here for my, my newsletter because I will be sending out um, updates. So okay, then what I did is I just used the, my little sponge daubers and the pink pirouette and just add a little color here. I know it just it made such a fun little card and something that I probably wouldn't have wanted to attempt um, in a regular class just because it was a little overwhelming. The piece that we always kept losing yesterday was this <laughs> fun little bud. Okay, so there are my pieces all sponged and ready to go. Now it's just a matter of assembling. <clears throat> I'm going to add some more glue to this because I'm sure it's dried by now. Dot, 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 not a lot. You know the drill. All right, we can go ahead and add that. Actually, what I probably should have done is, I think I should have done the amazing first, just so that I have ample room. Things are flying today. All right. Okay, let's go ahead and add the amazing right here because I think it's so stinking cute oh my goodness and we can add a little bit of I just have a little twist of the lucky limeade what I found worked really well is just to use a little bit of adhesive right here and then double back on itself a glue dot or the fast fuse works really well Blue dots are probably my favorite, but we can just double back. It's kind of the big on-trend look right now is those the, the zigzag ribbon. Let's just add a little bit more there. Grab a glue dot. There we go. Okay, then it's just a matter of adhering our pieces together. Ugh. When you do glue yours together, don't rip them. Um, seriously. <laughs> Some days, you really should just, you know, crawl back in bed with a good book and call it a day. But anyways, this is, we can make that work. Don't worry about it. Half of, uh, half of stamping is just, you know, figuring out how to make corrections. All right, there we go. That's not so bad, right? And let's add this, this one to the front. And let's see here, let's go like this. The beauty of these orchids is no matter how you put them, they're just cute. Doesn't, they don't have to be perfect. Nothing in nature is perfect. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And we're gonna add this right up here to the top. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three. There we go. Add some dimensionals to these two puppies. And we have a card. Add this one right up here. And again, I mean, how stinking cute is that? Tell me that that's not adorable. Of course, my little OCD is not gonna let me leave that in there. I'm sure you understand. So that is the card. You know, outside, inside, and life is good. Thanks again. Visit me at stinkingcutecards.com. Make sure you sign up for the mailing list so that I can give, send you updates as to when the next Stamparatus, um, when it's available to order. So thanks again, toodles, bye.